the system caught a virus. Let me just fix it. Wifey? Yes, little kitty. Just like humans, computers can catch a virus too. Yes. So in today's episode, let us install some vital information by answering a technical question. What is a computer virus? Zoom in. Do you know how computers work? Well, they use something called code, which is like a set of instructions telling the computer what to do when you play a video game, type a document, or perform any other function on it. Though these sets of codes are generally helpful, however, at times they can be used to program harmful software called viruses that can make your computer sick. Yes, just like how a living virus can make us sick and spread to others, computer viruses are like small, invisible creatures that can infect our computers and other similar devices. Once a virus is inside your device, it can slow down your computer, make it freeze or crash, delete your files, or even steal your personal information. Not only that, but just like how a real virus can spread from one person to another, the computer virus can self-replicate and spread quickly from one computer to another, causing havoc on a large scale. And believe it or not, there are possibly thousands of viruses designed for different malicious purposes like Trojan horses, worms and spyware, just to name a few. But the vital question is, how can our devices get infected? Well, you can accidentally catch a computer virus by opening an email attachment from someone you don't know, downloading software from an unsafe platform, or by visiting a website that has already been infected with a virus. Not only that, but sometimes unethical hackers can sneak into your computer and deliberately put a virus on it. This virus can make your computer stop working and the hackers might ask you to pay them money to fix it. It's like a bad guy holding your computer hostage. To stay safe from hackers, please check out our video on the same topic. Now, here comes the most important question. What can we do to protect ourselves from these corrupted codes? Well, the first and foremost thing to do is install antivirus software to help safeguard your devices. Secondly, don't click on links or download files from websites you don't trust. And only download things from trusted sources. And make sure you do not open any email attachments from people you don't know. And besides all these, no matter what, never share your personal information online, including your name, address or phone number. Always use strong and unique passwords to prevent hackers from accessing your accounts and installing viruses on your computer. And no matter how tempting it may come across, please be careful while using public Wi-Fi and avoid logging into your accounts with it. So, here we go. Now that you know the ways to deal with a computer virus, you can continue to enjoy all the wonderful things your computer can do while staying safe and secure. Trivia time! Did you know the first computer virus was created in 1986 and was called the Brain Virus? Yes, it was created in Pakistan by two brothers who wanted to prevent people from pirating their software. 
Sketching time. Today's sketch of the day goes to S. Lakshan. Hope you learned something important today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. What are you doing, Kitty? Never mind.